Happy face. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Welcome. Today is Wednesday, and every Wednesday we're going live with hashtag Connecting Business. Today I'm here with Yusuf. He is a digital marketer and a genius in this area, right? Aren't you? Uh, maybe. Are you? <laughs> well, <laughs> if they you say so. They say you're geniuses. Yeah, don't, yes, yeah. Don't know. They never. Like, they never say. People say all kinds of stuff. Yeah, stuff they, like that. They say all kinds of stuff. So. But uh, we're here because he's a digital marketer, and we're going to be sharing tips and advice with you, uh, even if you are. Uh, business owner that is trying to get into digital marketing for your own business or someone that is trying to start a business doing digital marketing. So talk a little bit about yourself, what you do, or, or did I say it already? Did I say it already? <laughs> <laughs> You're a good man. You see, that's the cool thing about, you know, doing live streaming because everything is a freestyle, it's organic, it's raw, so it they doesn't matter. You can see mistakes. You can see your mistakes. Something might happen right now. But yeah, thank you so yeah. much, uh, Fabian, for... Uh, you know, having me as your guest today. Thank so, you. So as, as Fabian said, I'm a digital marketer. Uh, I'm kind of doing two things at a time. <laughs> yeah, yeah let, let me keep with this. So uh, the whole point of uh, the Wednesday of going live with someone that has a business and sharing the tips with the viewers about their business of how they can help you uh, grow or help you be better on what you're doing. Uh, this is the whole concept and the whole purpose of uh, being live on Wednesday. So if you or you know, if you have a business or you know someone that has a business and wants to jump in, into this kind of stuff, going live and talk about your business and giving tips to the people that is watching, let me know. Send me a direct message or something, and uh, we will schedule one of the Wednesdays for you. If you're watching this live, please comment hashtag live. If you're watching this uh, on a replay, comment hashtag replay. If you have questions, please feel completely free to ask them. We will we will do the best to answer them in the shortest time possible. Excellent. So if you all have any question, you can comment below so we can look at your questions. And I'm going to look at on the screen right here, too. So as a digital marketer, Fabian brought up important subject. First of all, the audience. So we're talking about existing businesses that want to utilize digital marketing. And let's say start up those who are just fresh up boat, like the FOBs, F-O-B, right? So for existing, let's say mom and pop or small businesses, that want to utilize digital marketing, the first thing is they have to understand how digital marketing works. You know, what's the difference between the traditional and the digital. When it comes to digital, digital the, the term itself, digital marketing, is so broad. Uh, think of it like the medical school. You know, people say, I'm going to go to medical. Okay, what kind of medical? Is it, sur are you going to be a surgeon, neurosurgeon, bone, and whatever? <laughs> you, know, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Or psychologist, psychiatrist. Oh, there are so many levels in the medical niche, right? Same thing with the digital marketing. So the small businesses need to understand what is digital marketing? What does it what does it contain? So you have something called branding, you have something called graphic, you have something called like the video, the one the one you work on in a video production, video promotions, you have websites, you have uh, data, social media ads, social media ad, organic social media, data science, blogging, uh, search engine Funnels. ads. The, the tons, <laughs> right? Funnel, I don't know, the sell funnel, or I don't know, I don't know what they call it, sell funnel. You should call it like, you know, sell bucket, right? Something, so yeah. you have so, so many different options. So it really depends first, if you understand all this, the, the genre of digital marketing, then, then the first thing is you have to identify who is your ideal customer. Mm -hmm. Who is your ideal audience? Where do they hang out? What do they do? Are they uh, uh, proactive on the social media channels? Which, which kind of, uh, what kind of channels? Uh, do they go to Bing or Google to look for more products and services? If they do, then what do they type? What do they search for? So you have to do that market research to identify where are my audience. And you also have to look into something in the digital market industry we call this buyer's <clears throat> persona, which means you have to identify you know, the age group, their behavior, where do they hang out, what do they like. So once you understand your audience, right, now you have to do a second research. Where do they hang out? What do they do? Right? Yeah. Once you... Isn't that, sorry to interrupt. No, no, you can interrupt me anytime. You had like the whole flow and then they cut yeah. it a little bit. <laughs> Doesn't that is, because the way that I see it, social media and the internet and the digital world, it's almost this, well, I see like it's almost the same than doing in person. Like, like when the digital world wasn't there, you needed to know where your potential client was hanging out, what they do, what, yeah. uh, what kind of grocery shopping they do, all that kind of different stuff. Yeah. It's the same thing here. Like, what kind of groups in Facebook or in Instagram or where, it, where, where your client is spending most time on social media and right. digital platforms. Yeah. 
and you have to go in there. Yes, you're absolutely correct because back in the day, if you go through the traditional route, you have to you know hire big agencies, big companies that have a lot of these data and resources. But of course, it's going to be super expensive. But for a, a, a local business like yourself, you can utilize the internet to find those all, all those information. Yes. So let's take an example, just a quick example. Let's say a yoga in, instructor, right? There's a yoga, uh, I don't know, clinic, yoga studio, mm -hmm. and this yoga person wants to get enough customers that are interested in his or her services. So the first thing is, what I'm gonna do, since I'm a local business, I have a, a shop or a studio, the first thing you have to do, you need to make sure that you are visible in the local listing. What does that mean? Like, you know, Google My Business page, Yelp pages, Super pages, Facebook pages. <clears throat> to do that, there's an awesome website called uh, Moz, M-O-Z, dot com slash local. You go to that link, type the name of your business, the address, and click submit. Then this tool will show you uh, on how many of the, let's say, maybe 10 or 15 high-ranking local listing site that you are available. If not, you need to claim them. Why? Because your audience, they go to Google, they go to the map, they go to Yelp to look for your business. You need to be visible there, yeah. right? So that's one tip, right? The second tip is your website. Uh, having a YouTube channel, Facebook channels, and Instagram, and all these tools are great, but guess what? You don't own them. No. So if something <laughs> happens, that's right. you're done. They can remove you. They can... You know, then you, especially nowadays, we and have too many haters. That yeah, they haters. You and, do that kind of stuff. and unfortunately, nowadays, we have too many snowflakes. Did I say that? We have so many people <laughs> that, that get triggered. So you, you never know. This is the idea of cancel culture is happening now, where, where Facebook and, and YouTube going to shut you down for whatever the political agenda is. So you don't have full control. So that's why you need to have your own website. Why? Because that is your real estate. You have full control over it. You can do whatever you want. In fact, you can use all the social channels to point those audience back to your website. Your website. Yes, right? right? So that means when you build the website, you have to make sure like, okay, why I'm building the website? What should be the objective of the website? The result that you're expecting from the website. You're absolutely correct. For example, if you take the example of the yoga instructor, okay, you know what? My one primary main call to action would be book a session or book a class. So book that should class. be the number one call to action on my website. So when I advertise it, when I promote it, I want them to come to that to that website that is going to take you through the whole process for you to click to book class. At the class with the testimony and options and everything, right? So you have to understand how the search engine optimization works. You have to use free tools like, you know, Google Keyword Planner. You can select San Antonio, right? And tap the word yoga and Google will give you all the popular terminologies and the key phrases that you ask your customer looking for. You take those information and optimize, optimize the website for that, right? Once you build the site properly, then you have to come with some sort of strategy where you can use educational marketing to build your credibility. How did, what does that mean? Taking the same example of the yoga, I'm going to show a lot of uh, question-based articles, like you know, why yoga is important for your health, why yoga is good for your, let's say, bicycle ride. I don't know. I'm just yeah. making kind of stuff, right? Like, yeah, like, is it good to do yoga in the morning? Yes. Is it better to do it at night? Is it better right. to do it before eating or anything you, like that? You're absolutely you correct. You educating people. And, you're absolutely and, correct. So Fabian said you're, you're going to educate the customer. When you educate your target audience, that's how you become expert. That's how, and that's, <laughs> and that's how, um, when you start educating and sharing what you know and how to do it, people start seeing you as uh, the person to go to. Correct. When they have questions about that topic. Correct. And it creates awareness, it creates trust. Yes. People uh, get to know you. Mm -hmm. And if you're a cool person, if you're nice, they will know that you're human and you know, like, you're absolutely that, correct. that you're not that uh, alien or whatever you want, <laughs> machine that is working all day and has nothing else to yeah. do yeah. but that. No, 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 like they get to know you and it's very important to have educational videos. Uh, and they actually, not only with awareness and that kind of stuff like trust, but saving you time. Educational videos can save you time. If, let's say, uh, frequently asked questions. Normally when you create a video or a post, a blog, whatever, about uh, a frequently asked mm -hmm. question, every time that they ask it, you can share the link or send it to Correct. that video or blog. Uh, to answer they, their questions. So that Correct. can save you time too. You're absolutely correct. Now, you brought an important subject here, the frequently asked question page. Because the frequently asked question page, it, it will go to help you in many areas. Number one, it will help you with the voice search. What I mean by that, 
if somebody's looking for you on Alexa or Google Home, there's a possibility your information is going to show up through the voice. And guess what? I believe this or next year, uh, more than 50% of the search on Google will be voice-based. Okay? Secondly, like you mentioned, the, the frequently asked question will put you in a credibility uh, expert status. A little parenthesis yes. with the... Oh, come what's on up? In, come Andrew? on in. How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? You, sir? you want to say hi to the people? You want? <laughs> have a seat right here. What's up, y'all? Is here? Please come and have a seat. Uh, Make yourself home. Do you need water or something? No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, you're saying about the frequent oh, question, yeah. Uh, Normally, people, you know how they do SEO, right? Yeah. The search engine optimization. But now that everything, like in that in that way, you think of how people is gonna look for you typing. Yeah. Now, when you type, it's not the same way than when you look on voice. Correct. Now you need to start thinking how people is gonna look for you and your business through voice. Absolutely. What kind of words they're gonna use? So and now then, you can do the keyword campaign correct. through voice. And there's a whole technique behind how to be uh, kind of more visible on the voice search as well. So the challenge would be coming up with the content that is a question base. That's very challenging because what kind of question your ideal customer ask, right? Mm -hmm. So in order to solve that problem, there's an amazing, I'm going to recommend two tools, okay? <laughs> the first one is my favorite now. It's called answerthepublic.com. Answer the it's very, very useful. Yes, I you, use it. It's amazing. You go to answerthepublic.com. Uh, the, the whole system is attached to the Google's database. So let's say I'm going to put the word yoga and now it will give me all these uh, popular critical questions that my audience are asking. So I can use this question to rewrite my own content, or I can use it for YouTube videos or podcast or a social media hashtag. Okay. I can also use this material to share uh, external content on my own social channel. So it's so amazingly beautiful. Answer the public.com. The second one is called uh, tweakyourbiz.com. When you go to tweakyourbiz.com, there's a feature called title generator so the title generator basically will help you to come up with interesting title for a for a specific subject just to give you an idea so collect those and start promoting your content if it's a text then you promote it in once a week if it's a video uh once a week that's what we recommend uh, youtube videos or you can do the live streaming like this one right here whether on a daily basis or three times a week however you want to do it you got to stay consistent right yes so you understand the your target audience you did the research you are uh, claiming the local listing, you're building the website, you're optimizing it for the uh, SEO, then you also have to understand how search engine optimization work because it's another beast. It's not just a one-time thing. You have to understand the technicality of what, what it takes place on the back end of the website and what you can do on a monthly basis to get that promotional organic traffic. Then, when it comes to social media, you have to understand how each platform works. Don't be crazy and just submit or create all the accounts just because people are telling you. If you want to open this crazy TikTok nonsense, whatever, used to be called Musical.ly, Musical. horrible site, but everyone is very Musical. popular. Yeah. Used to be called Musical.ly and now it's called it TikTok. I'm not going to be TikTok. there. I don't, I don't care. I, I love TikTok. <laughs> I know you love it. I, 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 don't, I haven't used it that much, but it's a great yeah. platform. Yeah. I, I recommend it to everyone. He, he recommends it. I don't, I don't use it, so I don't recommend it. Okay. <laughs> he recommends it because he uses it. <laughs> yeah. so, so any platform you want to go to, make sure that your audience first exists there or your competitor exists there, right? Understand how these tools work come with a, a monthly plan and also try to use some sort of data analysis whether it's on the website or on the social when it comes to the website you have to make sure that your website have google analytics configured and the google search console configured so you can understand the behavior of your uh, uh, website visitors and the social media is the same thing you don't want to be like the gerbil just circling and running you have to make sure that whatever content you're posting out there which one is working on what time and you having the purpose for your content absolutely so you have to utilize the the tools whether for schedule s scheduling or analytics to understand your uh, marketing strategy and change them based on the data not based on how you feel okay kick the feeling out now i want to say this one one thing real quick guys if you're all enjoying this facebook live do us a favor just click share share this with your homies dudes and doodads and whoever <laughs> uh is just share it with somebody that think they are cool. Tag some of your cool friends. If somebody you suck, them don't tag them. Um, don't tag them. If somebody suck, don't tag oh, them. No, yeah, they yeah. Suck. Only the cool we people them. tag them yes. if they if they basically if, if you give if they give you the permission, then tag them and share this so they can also benefit. Yeah. Okay. And so this simple talk. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Comment hashtag live, hashtag replay, and uh, if you watch it live or replay, of course. And Ismael, thank you for watching and having 
you here and yes. listening to us. Um, <coughs> but this is helpful. For Excuse you. me. Right. So, um, so that was for the first subject. If somebody have an existing business, right? Yes. If somebody don't, it's similar to what I mentioned with the first one. The only difference, you're completely from scratch. You don't have anything. So the first thing you have to do is market research. Identify who is your audience. Where do they, so? In fact, the majority of the time you should spend is market research. Understand who's your customer. Understand. Then that. decide. Not only understand who it is, but how to talk to them. How to talk to them. That's why, you know, like if you invest in uh, promoting the content, because content is an educational platform, you don't want to focus only one thing. I mean, if you don't know how to do video, you can do text, you can do blog, you can do live stream, you can do different uh, uh, format of, of, the, of the content. Because content, first of all, what is the purpose of the content? The purpose of the content is to educate your ideal customers. That's the whole purpose behind it, right? And, and you have to make sure that the content it is something that your customer is hungry for. You're not sharing the content just beca because... Because you think it's going to work. It's going to work or because for the sake of just sharing. But yeah, make sure that your client is absorbing it and being excited about the content that you're posting. Yeah, so basically I'm writing a solution for a problem or for a challenge or for something they're looking for, right? And, uh, and that's it. Then you have to understand... That there are two kinds of traffic. There is a paid traffic and organic traffic. When I say paid traffic, I'm talking about Google ads, Bing ads, uh, social media ads, which is Facebook ad, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit ads. And the organic, we're talking about the social media uh, organic post, the uh, search engine organic strategy, like you know, link building, content submission, different places, and also data analysis. You have to make sure that you use the data to help you re strategize your materials and especially videos and really really doing, works stop doing what it doesn't work like, and it's not doing what doesn't work <laughs> recognize what is it that is not working from your uh research and your yeah. data and be like okay this doesn't work i'm not gonna spend Absolutely. more time in that and yeah that's some, something really cool with social media right now the algorithm is working really good with video yeah um it gives i think like 80 percent more well, uh, traffic it, 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 like it does you absolutely it does but also you have to depend again in what niche you are in for example uh, mm -hmm. We have these so-called uh, blind people. Blind people, yeah, it's <laughs> not gonna work. You don't want to show them a video. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, but the thing sometimes. is, uh, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> so, for example, like uh, people, some of the so-called guru mentalists, where they tell you, "Hey, buy this so-called landing pages," and everyone must have a cell phone. I'm like, really? Well, have you worked with the plumber lately? What kind of uh, cell phone they're gonna have? An ebook on how to avoid uh, butt crack plumbers? That's that's not gonna work, right? Because for the plumbers, the majority of their audience, what do they want to do? Set up an appointment or call, right? So they don't, they don't care about the... That much. About the, the, what do you the call it? The video content. The video. Well, it depends. Like, if it it's depends a big corporation, it. if it's like a big franchise organization, it depends, yeah. right? Well, it depends how they use it. Yes, it depends how they use it too. You can use it internally, outside, yes. to save time. If because you can awareness. Correct. You can stuff. create educational plumbing videos, right? So when the customer says, oh, these guys know what they're doing. Then that's how they, that's how they catch you. So sometimes really depends on the client and depends on the test. You always have to test. There is no such thing as you know secret sauce, hot sauce, blue sauce, green sauce. It's all about testing. Yes, see what know. works. It's hustle uh, and, and hustle. <laughs> and, yeah, hustle and stick to it. Makes sense. So, so I have like we have some clients that don't even use funnel, but they get a lot of customers. And there are some that needs it because that's the nature of the business. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. Does anybody have a question, what, what, by the way? What do you think? Yeah, if someone has a question, please let us know. Yeah. We probably have like three more minutes or four. Um, yeah, that was pretty fast. My God. What do you think? <laughs> what's the social media uh, that is better for, like right now, for organic? Well, well think of it this way. Look at the numbers. Uh, which social channel that has the majority of the planet Earth population? It's Facebook. Is it? Yes. It's Facebook. And, he's, and why? I'm going to tell you Twitter? why. Twitter is there, too. But Facebook owns by who? Zuckerberg, right? Yeah. A multi billion dollar company. Like the same one that owns Instagram, Instagram right? Instagram and WhatsApp. And LinkedIn, own, and LinkedIn owned by Microsoft. Oh, it's Microsoft. Microsoft, uh, yeah, acquired LinkedIn. Don't you I don't have, know, I don't know why. have you seen that I, joke? Like when you go to LinkedIn, there's like a blue screen of death. <laughs> <laughs> the meme. I never thought of yeah, that. But, it's owned by yeah, Microsoft. I, I, I teach how to use it, but I, I never thought All right. That so, doesn't look like and it, Google right. and YouTube owned by Google. So these yeah, are yeah, three these are the three big dogs. They they actually decided TikTok. what's in the market, right? It's very then of good course for you organic. have well I mean TikTok, all this is gonna come and go, right? 
<laughs> so, so with the TikTok, they you changed. have to do like lip syncing, and I'm not gonna do that. Man. Yeah, I, I can do that in the corner. That anymore. Uh, TikTok works really good. Imagine that you can do all of this yeah. on TikTok. Like you can educate people, you can okay. uh, share your stuff, you can do a lot of things with TikTok. He tried too. it, so listen to him. I, and, and it's fun too. Like yeah. you have a lot of things to do. Yeah, I think they changed yeah. a little bit, right? Give it a chance. Just yeah, owned by Chinese. Give him a chance. All right. So, so when it comes to social, things are gonna come and go, right? Yep. But you as a business, you don't want to be caught up into this, that I have to do this. Because your focus should be your business, right? And new of product. course, you have to utilize new technologies like TikTok and whatnot. If if your audience exists there, yes, right? And if you can help this audience, then yes, it's better for you to be super diversified. Basically, what I'm trying to say, don't throw everything in one basket, right? But make sure that you have your own website. Then after that, you can have all the social channels after that. And you are using them to benefit your service and product and, and businesses, but not like you're gonna be completely on it. Because again, God forbid, yeah, if you, if you uh, start your business through Instagram and one day Instagram decides to shut down your account, then what's gonna happen, right? Yeah. So that's why you need email, you mentioned email marketing, you need you know other social channels, you better diversify your material everywhere else so the target audience from those channels can actually come back to you. And I think, in my opinion, it's mm -hmm. preferable that let's say that you post a YouTube video on Facebook. <coughs> Facebook already doesn't like when you're taking someone else to another website. It's a different you know? platform, yeah. It's a, to a different platform. Yeah. So if you're already sending someone somewhere else, it's better to send it to your website instead Correct. of sending it to YouTube or to another platform. Send them to your website and have those uh, people, that traffic going to your website absolutely. instead of another platform that you get yeah, nothing out of. Yeah, absolutely correct. Yeah, that's why... Your website, as I mentioned in the beginning, it is your real estate because you own it, you have full control on it. And, and it's like your defense marketing. Correct. You know? Then use everything else just to point it back to your site. Okay? Right. We don't have any questions for No question. Like I, guess, right I, guess our, I guess our audience are very smart. Yeah, everyone. Every, <laughs> you know, they, they know everything. Yeah, they already. know everything. So. The audience knows everything. Already. Yeah, they know everything we're talking but, about. So. No, no, it's good. Uh, we're actually probably about the 17 minutes, so let's cut it right now. Uh, thank you so much for oh, sharing all of this. If you guys are interested in being in something like this, it's a Wednesday. It's called Hashtag Connecting Business, Businesses to share tips and advice to the viewers about your business, about what you do and how you can help them uh, be better on your area and industry. Thank you so much. I will see you next Wednesday. And bye. Thank you, everyone. And you've been all you've approved. <laughs>